Hello and welcome back to another fire alarm video. Here is the next requested system test. This one was not requested by anyone specific because they did not put a channel name or any shout out name in there. So um, to whoever requested this one, let's hope you recognize it. Your devices were the Notifier BG12L, which we uh, treat as a BG10. Now you specifically asked me to have the module, um, which they all have the module, but normally it's behind. You can kind of see through the plastic. The module's in here this time. Um, so when we go to reset it, you'll check it out. Um, it's not the module that's natively in here. That's why there's no red light flashing or anything. Um, and that's because, uh, well, it's interesting. I actually have wires running just kind of hidden back there, running outside here and then back into the junction box behind it. Same control module, I don't have doing anything. I'm trying to think of something, um, I don't know, I'm just having trouble coming up with something. They asked for the P2RL over the panel. Um, system sensor to replace the uh, Spectral Alert Advanced series. Over here. Same old smoke detector and a Wheelock exceeder. Um, but there's not much to say about that. It's a Wheelock exceeder. And then the Firelight BG8. So, um, cool stuff. These are not set to sync, of course, because one system sensor, one's Wheelock. Um, but they're both set to temporal or code three, which is what they requested. Um, and they're set for selective silence. So again, they won't sync, so it might be interesting. Let's find out. Starting down here. Wow, that's not syncing. Okay, hold on, let's silence that real quick. Okay. It's got the sync code. I thought I said it's temporal. I wonder if it's the setting that I have actually on the um, device. Okay, firelight key, firelight. Let's reset this. I'll um, check the settings in the panel, make sure that's right. Um, that sync's actually not too bad. They're pretty close. But I wouldn't call them synced. But they're close. So, not bad. Okay, um, I'll do a reset here. And let me check the programming settings and I'll be right back. Okay, back to it. I checked all the settings. Everything's good. Um, this was set to um, continuous. So I, I, I guess maybe, um, even though this is sending out a, a coding signal, if that's set to continuous, it just does its own thing. It might be because this is the older panel, older firmware, doesn't know how to talk with these as nicely because these are brand new. Not exactly sure, but we're just gonna roll with it. Guys, here we'll go to the BG-12, which you gotta push in really hard. Cedar was kind of doing its own thing down there. But here we got the strobes going. They're rolling. That's fine. Let's go ahead and... Oh, what do we want to do? What do we want to do? I want to do the heat detector today. I haven't done that forever. So let's grab key. It's got the jumper on it. We'll go up to our heat detector up here. And again, good old challenge of trying to do this with one hand. And you know, get it on film. Because that's the exciting part, right?
Guess it helps if I can get that on there. There it goes. All right. Man, that exceeder really just kind of does its own thing. I'll put the key back in here so I don't lose it. Because that's kind of, you know, what would happen. Okay, keys always disappear when you work in this job. Mag test the smoke detector again. Um, and then we'll have tested everything today. It's on this side. It's going to scare me, I know. It always does. Even though I've got hearing protection on. Oh, come on. There it is. There it goes. All right, everyone's happy. All right, again, you can see the sink. Not really. See, it's selective silence, at least. These two wire devices, so. All right. Put my hands back. And they're handy dandy spot there. Um, let's reset the poles for this one. This is Notifier. Look how many keys I've got, guys. Too many. Look, there's several Notifier keys, too. But this is what I was talking about. I put this, this guy in here. So it acts, you know, it still locks in place the same as the actual thing. And it just kind of looks like, uh, you know, a legit thing, but I'm running the wires through random holes and everything to make it look nice. And the J box is loose too, so that's fun. I should probably move it over so it's actually screwed into a stud. So right now it's just into the uh, wood behind it there. All right. Now that's it. So we'll reset. And guys, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next video.